Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, Cut the Tape, and that's gonna be the intro to the show. Okay, so one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Okay, welcome back to Cut the Tape. As promised, my assistant is here. Who's my assistant today? Maddie. I can't hear you. Maddie! Don't need to yell. All right, so we have our second box of loot here. All right. So, Maddie, what this is, I buy stuff, or I pre-order things that I want to buy. And as they come in, I get charged, but they get put into a box. And then after a certain amount of time, I say, send me the box. And they send me the box. And so much time goes by between when I order and pre-order and they, they actually send me the box. I forget what's in the box. Yes. So, I'm going to open the box. All right. It's all it's all brown boxes, Maddie. It's all brown boxes. It's not very exciting cut the tape. All right. But we can start with this. What is that? What is that? Transformers. You gotta speak up. Transformers! What's that letter? S. M. D. D. L. X. And what's that name? Cliff Jumper. Cliff Jumper. M. D. M. X. M. D. L. X. Cliff Jumper. This is the metal statue. Very excited to get that. Something else that's metal is. This is G.I. Joe. I love G.I. Joe, Maddie. I was first introduced to G.I. Joe from my cousin who gave me all his hand-me-down G.I. Joe and Star Wars figures and vehicles. And um, I, I've loved G.I. Joe ever since. So this is a die cast Destro with his tank. You have a cousin? I have lots of cousins. All right, let's keep going. I have, oh, more Silverhawks. This is Monstar. Not monster, monstar. This is wind hammer, more silver hawks. Goldar from Power Rangers. Now I don't collect Power Rangers, right? But I got certain villains because they go very well with my He-Man collection. And I'm a big fan of Super Siete. So that's the name of the company. Super Super Siete. This is Transformation Chamber Throne. This is, that's not even an action figure. That's just a chair. That's a big box for a chair. I got Snacky Eyes from, from the G.I. Oh, Go. The I got Invisible Tigra. Oh, no, you can't even see the thing in there. Oh, no, All right, read this. What is that? Toy Virgin. What is that word? Mum. Mum. Ra. The ever living toy version. Mum Ra, the ever living toy version. I love the fact that Super Siete is doing toy versions of the Thundercats. So it's not just the animated versions. I get the toy after toy inspired, the old LJN inspired versions, which I think is great. And then there's a big box in here. And I don't know what this big box is. Oh, we're definitely gonna open this for cut the tape. This is an Optimus Prime statue. Yeah, we're definitely gonna open that. I'll put that right here. That's going in the Optimus case tonight. We have... We're gonna open it at the end of the video. Yeah, we're gonna open it at the end once we take everything out. We got a little, a little wheelie. Movie version wheelie, unofficial. Right? Oh, we got a train bot. 
we got a train bot. Choo choo. That's how that's how trains used to work. They don't go choo choo anymore. They they don't do that. We got oh we got a super Sieta sound blaster t-shirt. Just a t-shirt. Here, this is for you. It's a BBTS sticker, Big Bad Toy Store sticker. And we got Unicron. Wow, this is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Unicron. For a while, while I was at Hasbro, I had the Unicron prototype sitting on my on my desk at work. Uh, Ultramag, you know who hasn't shown up in the live action films? We're, we're about to get basically a Beast Wars movie and we have not had Ultra Magnus in the film yet. We've had Hot Rod, we've had uh, RC. They can look like that, the ship. Right, right. They can live in that ship, the Katana. All right, so let's get this box out of the way. All right, oh, yeah, I'm gonna move these out of the way. Brown boxes are not exciting, it's what's in the brown box, but this is exciting. Completely forgot all about this. This is the Transformers Quicks Optimus Prime Bust. There is the box. This is Optimus Prime holding a boom box. I have the Bumblebee that's like a DJ Bumblebee. What's a boom box? A boom what's a boom box? <sighs> a boom box is something that used to make music. It was like a fancy radio. You can just call it boom bastic. Boom bastic, yeah. A little different. Oh, oh my, I opened it upside down. Here she is. We have a nice Autobot She's symbol. A boy. Yeah, um, embossed on the top. Yes, you know what? We don't even need to cut the tape because the sticker just came off. So we'll use the dull blade of the knife. All right. We have mystery envelope. What's in the envelope? Let's find out. Oh! Certificate of authenticity. Very nice. Just do that to give it to you. Yeah, yeah, just to me. Nobody else gets this. Just, just me. This is a very nice. I appreciate nice paper. It's nice paper. It's embossed. It's got a nice logo it on it. Uh, yes, I could, I could frame it here if I wanted to. But then you can't open it. Yes, um, we could do that, but I'll probably just leave this piece of paper in the box. But I will take this out. Not individually numbered. So not, not too, you know, excited about that. Whatever. This is a boom box, Maddie. This is what a boom box used to look like. And this is really small. Boom boxes used to be really big. Can you open it? And then this one doesn't open. But this. This is the boom box. Oh, the arm is articulated. What else is this body? It's a bus, which means it's just the top part. So it doesn't have a body? Well, this is not a toy. This is a statue. Let's look at the bottom. Yep, not, not individually numbered, which is fine. Can I hold it? Sure. Yeah, yeah, don't, not, you know, not a good idea to shake it. Okay. Is this magnetic? No. So he can just hold it however he wants to hold it. All right. You can stick the stick on the bottom. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna go nice in my Optimus Prime case. I have a whole case of nothing but Optimus Prime stuff. Basement? Is can I give you a key to the basement? Absolutely not. Do you have a key to the basement? 
I have a control panel. Uh, it reads my biometrics, and that's what allows me to go into the basement. It reads your body? Yes. So it sees you? It watches you? Yes. But not in a creepy way. All right, so this is very cool. Right, so that nobody steals anything. All right. Okay. Let's not talk about horror stories. All right, Maddie, pick one of these boxes here. I'm going to point, and then you tell me which one to open. Everyone. No. No, we only have time for some for one. So I'm going to point to these boxes, and you tell me when to stop. We are going to open Mumra the Ever Living from Super Siete toy version. Let's look at to see what Mumra is. All right, grab the box. Yeah. So Super Siete does a great job with their packaging for collect they know collectors are buying. They know these are high-end items. So they take the box they put it in plastic so it doesn't get scuffed. They then put it in a shipping box. I hope nobody's using this box to ship. This is taped. Can I see it? Yeah. Now, I love the consistency between all the different lines and their boxes. There's always a sleeve, right? So that's Mumra's symbol. Nice Thundercats on the back. Whether it's uh, Silverhawks or Turtles or Transformers or Joe. Or mine, mine. <laughs> I love the consistency of the boxes. Look at that beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is like, this is like the masterpiece it looks like LJN figure. Um, it looks like a girl in the back. No, it looks like a. It looks like The Rock is cosplaying as a mummy. That's what it looks like. So, I love the coloration on this toy because it almost looks like it's faded. It it almost looks like it's sun like the the green the skin is almost sun faded, which is not. It just they did a wow. I'm really happy with I haven't even opened this, and I'm really happy with this. Well, I have the other figures from, from the Thundercats line. Wow. This looks phenomenal, Maddie. Yes, at the end, you can tell them to subscribe. Actually, why don't you tell them right now to subscribe? Subscribe to my channel or else. What's it's the name of your channel? Called, it's Toka Daisy. Toka Daisy. It's Toka. Toka Daisy. It's Toka Daisy. It, wasn't it Princess Maddie before? No, six. Oh, see, look. Absolutely. This would, this would, yeah, The Rock would, would play a great Mumra in the film. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do it. Hang on. Great, great figure. Uh, yeah, here you go. Hold that. He comes with uh, two extra sets of hands. He comes with both a sword and his knife that the original LJN figure came with, as well as uh, his feet are ugly. Yeah. Yeah, they look like fingers. It's supposed to be creepy because, you know, he's evil. Just Man. stuff him in the little egg. Stuff him? No, no. I'm going to stuff him in a display case at home. This is great. I, I couldn't be happier with this. The only thing that would make this, t I mean, and I don't expect him to do this, but if there was like a, like maybe like a convention exclusive or something where you, you tool up a new piece of the chest and you put the battery and you get the ring and you put the ring in back and it lights up the eyes <sighs> do it super siete do it do it for like comic-con yeah 
This would haunt Casey, yes. Your older sister would be afraid of this. Yeah, I know you don't get scared easily. Casey does. Casey does. Casey gets scared easily. Maddie, Maddie does not get scared easily. For anyone who wants to come and try and scare she Maddie. She's scared a lot, but she's outside in the daytime on the trampoline. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yes, Casey is. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Casey's afraid. Do you think Casey's afraid of our chickens? Yeah. She sees the chickens as monsters. Uh, I see the chickens as snakes. That's why I hope that. Yes, yes. All right, well, we are here at the world famous frame and picture shop. This is my business. We frame everything from posters to paintings to comic books to diplomas, wonderful pieces of art. We ship worldwide. If you have something Transformers or pop culture and you need it framed, I'm the guy because I understand. I know what it's like. And the reason I got into framing was because I have a bunch of paintings and posters and lithos from just collecting. And I started getting it framed. In fact, I have the very first thing that I ever got framed right, right here to always remind me you pinned the photo of Casey and not me, so she's a free child. This. This was the first thing I ever had framed. That's this is the first thing I ever had framed professionally. That's this is what put me on my journey, and then eventually I bought the store where I had it framed. Miss Kimberly framed this. Anyway, this is not available for sale. This is just hanging in the store because... It reminds me. If you steal it, I'll punch you in the face. That's right. You punch him right in that face. I do jujitsu and I'm bored. Yeah, that's right. Jujitsu is life. All right. So, uh, you're gonna just gonna. You know what? I do want to show him the shirt. I want to do jujitsu again. Because. Uh, The shirt is pretty cool. Just put it on right now. How did they know your shirt size? Because I ordered it a certain size. Come on. What do you think this is, amateur hour? They gave it to us. I would love to have more shirts. Um, last time I counted. You have a thousand. Yeah, last time I counted, I was over 500 Transformer shirts. What? Yeah, and I don't wear them. Very rarely you wear one. a Transformer shirt. You have a bunch of Transformer no, shirts. I only have four. So uh, I used to be the like one of the main consultants for Changes Online Apparel, which was one of the first companies to ever have the Transformers license uh, in the late '90s. So they would come to my house, photograph my toys and my packages, and then they would crop them out and then put that on a shirt so there's like a ton of shirts out there that have my figures on them uh yeah so and then they would send me shirts and then I became friends with James from Styling Online and then I would oh my gosh I got so many shirts and there's so many more shirts that I don't even have I mean there's probably hundreds of shirts that I, I just don't have anyway that's the end of cut the tape subscribe to Maddie's YouTube channel what is cut it your tape Cut your tape. What's what's your uh, YouTube channel? It's Toka Daisy. That's a dumb Toka, I'll punch you again. Toka Daisy. You're so violent today. I, I, don't, I don't like if that. If you do stress, I won't punch you. Toka Daisy. I'll give um, you the sticker. Okay. Uh, Maddie's going to send you a sticker. Uh, thank you. Subscribe. Better subscribe or else. Or else. Um, also, hey, whose birthday was it the other day? No, not mom's. Yours. She got it on the second try. Rick's. All right. Thank you very much. The boy who likes to cut his tape. The boy who likes to cut on his tape. Box. That is the name of of a book somewhere. The boy who likes to cut his tape. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Cut the tape. Bye.